Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body, the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It's a renewing system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 855-660-4261. If you have questions about the longevity products, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, the ones I've taken and recommended since 1997, we want to hear from you, 855-660-4261. We can help you out if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 855-660-4261 is your number. Likewise, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261 is your call number. And please try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at the bottom of the hour, 855-660-4261. If you want to participate in our weekly calls, we do them, uh, myself and my friend Dixie Sedgwick, do them every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The number is 605-562-3140, 605-562-3140, participant access code 444973-POUND. Yesterday we talked about depression and anxiety and adrenal issues. And we also take questions that uh, we just, I talk for 20 minutes or so, and then we take questions for the last 10 minutes. 605-562-3140. That's every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. 605-562-3140. Participant access code 444-973-POUND. All right, we're talking wound healing. We're talking aging, slow healing wounds, and the degenerative process in general. We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks, and we've been saying there's a close relationship between wounds that do not heal and the aging process, or slow healing wounds and the aging process, and the degenerative, as in the non-regenerative non-healing process. We talk about degenerative disease a lot on this program. The bulk of our health issues in this country by far and away, the vast majority of dollars spent and time spent in misery in terms of our health involves degenerative disease. Degenerative as in non-regenerative. Degenerative diseases are diseases where the body just doesn't heal as opposed to traumatic diseases or traumatic injuries uh, where you get hit by a car or Uh, You take a fall as opposed to infectious kinds of issues that involve bacteria and viruses. We're talking mostly on this program about the degenerative disease process. Why? Well, first of all, as I say, most of, our, most of the time that we spend in health misery and most of the dollars we spend on health care involve degenerative health issues. But the most important thing about degenerative disease is the recognition that it doesn't have to be. It's not in the body's nature to degenerate. In fact, it's in the body's nature to re. Generate. If we're dealing with degenerative health crisis, something is mucking up the works. Something is mucking up the system. Likewise with wounds that don't heal or wounds that are slow to heal. The body's nature is to heal wounds. The body's nature is to recover and regenerate tissue. So if you're not healing from a wound or you have a slow healing wound, it's the same thing as a degenerative disease in the sense that something is mucking up the system. 
There's four basic scenarios that are relevant when it comes to the subject of wounds and wound healing. First, you got wounds that don't heal or wounds that are slow to heal. And this is especially the case with elderly folks or with long-term malnutrition or if there's some kind of associated degenerative disease. Most especially diabetics deal, from, uh, deal with wounds that don't heal or wounds that are slow to heal. Folks who are bedridden, who can't move their bodies or stuck in bed, they get pressure sores. This can also be a problem. Uh, this can also cause wounds that don't heal or wounds that are slow to heal. The second scenario is if you have a wound that is healing normally, but you just want to support its healing. You want to make sure that it heals appropriately. Thinking here of pre-surgery, taking, using these nutritional strategies that we've been talking about for now a couple of weeks are important. If you're going into surgery, start using your arginine and your taurine and your, uh, your chitosan and hyaluronic acid and bone soup and protein a couple of weeks before surgery. That way, as soon as the surgeon cuts, as soon as you get into the operation, as soon as you have your surgical procedure, the healing process will begin. And there'll be lots of raw materials for that healing process to take place appropriately. Likewise, if you have some kind of accident or if you burn yourself, loading up on these nutrients that we've been talking about and exploiting or leveraging these strategies can help accelerate the healing of a burn or uh, healing from some kind of traumatic injury, some kind of wound. This is if you're healthy and you're normal and, and wound is, the wounds are going to heal anyway, but you want to support its healing or accelerate the healing process. Third scenario is if you have some kind of chronic degenerative condition, i.e., a non-regenerative condition, and this includes most folks who have some kind of long-term chronic health problem, whether you're talking a circulatory issue or uh, intestinal issue or uh, digestive or autoimmune disease, any, anything that's a chronic long-term degenerative disease may not be a specific, may not be a wound, but again, we want to think of these long-term chronic degenerative diseases as a type of wound, a type of wound that's not healing. And then fourth of all, if you want to exploit some of these ideas that we've been talking about, just for general anti-aging, just as a general anti-aging health strategy, even if you're healthy, even if you're strong, even if you're young, even if you don't even think about the aging process, may say you're in your 20s or 30s and you just want to make sure that you live a long life, you just make, more, make sure you don't get into some kind of degenerative health, health crisis. Basically, if something is going to accelerate the healing process, if something is going to accelerate the healing from a wound, it's going to be good for you. This is especially true, by the way, in topical skin care. If your topical skin care isn't going to heal a wound, that's probably a topical skin care that isn't going to do much for anti-aging. That's probably a topical skin care product that's not going to do much, period. Does it surprise you that most topical skincare products that you get at department stores or even in salons or certainly at drug stores, Walgreens, CVS, don't do squat? If you can't put your, your Oil of Olay moisturizing lotion or your Dr. Sivak anti-aging melon extract that grows off the coast of France that Cindy, makes Cindy Crawford so beautiful, if you can't put that on a wound or you can't put that on a burn or you can't put that on a cut and have it heal the wound or the burn or the cut, you're basically dealing with a baloney skincare product. And I've been in the business for 30 plus years formulating products and marketing products and researching products. And let me tell you something, there ain't no business in all of healthcare that's more filled with baloney than the skincare business. If you can't put your skincare product on a, on a wound and accelerate the healing of it, you're probably dealing with a baloney skincare product. So anything that heals a wound, anything that accelerates the healing of burns, and by the way, if you're interested in getting a sample of my uh, wound cream, which does heal wounds and does heal burns, and also will help you with wrinkles, also will help you with anti-aging, because again, if something's going to heal a wound, it's going to accelerate the growth of tissue, it's also going to have anti-aging health benefits as well. If you're interested in trying a sample, we're sending out about 100 of them this week. If you uh, haven't sent me a note, send an email to ben at ksco.com. Make sure you put your address in there in a way that I can cut and paste it onto a label. And please include your phone number, and I'll send you free sample of my omega-6 vitamin C wound healing cream that you can also use as an anti-aging and, and uh, anti-wrinkle product. Anyway, so if something's good for wound healing, if something's good for accelerating the healing of some kind of trauma or burn or cut or scrape, it's also going to have anti-aging health properties. That means all of the nutritional strategies that we've been talking about the last couple of weeks are going to help you with your wounds. They're going to help you reverse degenerative disease. They're going to help you prevent degenerative disease. And they're going to help you live a long life. They're just going to help you feel better. All right, we'll continue talking about this when we come back from our break, and uh, we'll get into some of the hormones that are involved in the wound healing process. 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on 
on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us, friends. Our number is 855-660-4261, and we do have a line open for you. We'll get your calls here momentarily. If you're interested in helping me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program is, if you're interested in starting yourself a longevity business and earning thank you checks, helping change people's lives with nutritional supplementation, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the probiotics from Jordan Rubin, Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic, uh, products, the Healthy Start Pack, all the products we talk about on the Bright Side. You can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. When you start yourself on a nutritional supplement program, when you take the, take the ball into your own court, when you start yourself, when you start taking care of your health yourself, when you start to wean yourself off of the medical model and all of its toxic pharmaceuticals and deadly medical procedures, just by making phone calls, a phone call just by the willingness to participate in your own health you're going to start to notice differences in your lives in your lives just by taking the ball into your own court give the bright side bend phone team a call it's a one time ten dollar fee they can tell you all about it it's 866-735-2470 or you can head over to brightsideben.com and click on the join the team link for a one time ten dollar fee you can start yourself a business or even just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you want to do you can participate to the extent uh, as little as you want or as, lo uh, as much as you want. A lot of folks are making a significant amount of money by helping spread the word and show people how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. So give the Brightside Side Benefone team a call, 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Or you can head over to brightsideben.com and click on our Join the Team link. And somebody will get back to you with more information. Also want to remind you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren. And if you want to, uh, if you want to participate in our weekly phone calls, myself and Dixie Sedgwick do a weekly phone call and cover various topics and how, you, how the longevity products can be associated with health conditions. Yesterday we talked about depression and anxiety and adrenal issues. The dial-in number every Sunday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time is 605-562-3140. Participant access code 444-973-POUND. Okay, so we're talking wound healing and anti-aging and degenerative disease and reversing degenerative disease. All these ideas we've been talking about, vitamin C, amino acids, uh, taurine, and arginine. We'll talk a lot more about arginine here in the next few days. Building foods, building protein foods, eggs, dairy, organ meats bone soup, a seafood, foods that contain the cholesterol complex, which is made up of cholesterol and vitamin A and vitamin E and phospholipids like lecithin, foods like eggs and dairy, glucosamine, chitosan, chitin, hyaluronic acid, the glucogel caps, stabilizing blood sugar, making sure your insulin's working. These are all great ways to help accelerate the healing of wounds. And again, improve our, our health and our lives in general, even if we don't have slow healing wounds or wounds in general, because the support uh, to support building and to support growth and to support repair and to support recovery and to support regeneration means to support health and well-being. Then there's the whole hormonal connection. Last time we spoke, we were talking about this hormone link to healing, particularly the hormones that come from cholesterol, the so-called steroid hormones. I know I said it before, but it bears repeating. The steroid hormones are essentially a version of cholesterol. Testosterone is a version of cholesterol. Estrogen is a version of cholesterol. Progesterone is a type of cholesterol. Cortisol, stress hormone, a type of cholesterol. Even vitamin D is very similar to cholesterol. This, is, this underscores the absolute in intellectual and health and biochemical bankruptcy, the ludicrous nature of suppressing cholesterol production, the dumbest in a whole spectrum of dumb medical strategies. None is dumber. There's probably some that are as dumb, like removing organs that, like the gallbladder and the thyroid, but there's none dumber than to poison cholesterol-making machinery in the name of protecting the heart. I cannot stress how stupid this is from a biochemical standpoint. And when you understand cholesterol and cholesterol hormones nature to healing, to health, to anti-aging, you can understand why this is uh, statin mania is so crazy. Now they want to give it to kids. Now they want to put it in the water. They want to sell it over the counter. One of the most important cholesterol hormones 
uh, that we talked about, we started talking about last week is DHEA. DHEA is arguably one of the most important of all the anabolic building hormones. Anabolic simply means building. The relationship between DHEA and anti-aging, DHEA's uh, anti-aging properties, which are absolutely legendary, and its wound healing abilities and its anabolic, its building properties, highlights the relationship between healing from wounds and reversing wounds, or at least slowing, uh, slowing down, or I should say reversing the aging process, or at least slowing down the aging process. The signs of aging are, as we said so many times, are similar to the signs of wounding, at least when it comes to regeneration. The visible and unpleasant and apparent health issues associated with the aging process are similar to wounding. And when you keep in mind this whole idea of build up, break down, build up, break down, which is one of the pillars, one of the hallmarks, one of the, one of the major ideas of what I call the bright side philosophy, the idea that the body is in this balance of break down and build up. In the red, break down, in the black, build up. It's like a business. Your body's a business. And it's either in the red net or it's in the black net. It's always going to be at any given moment spending money and making and making money, breaking down and building up, and this is very important. The breakdown process is just as important as the build-up process. In fact, if we build up too much, we can run into problems. Fibroids, fibrosis, uh, cysts, these are all examples. Uh, acne pimples, these are all examples of problems of too much build-up. Keratoses, hard tissue, milia in the skin, keloids in the skin. These are all examples of too much buildup. So it's not like we always want to be building and building and building. It's a balance between breakdown and buildup, breakdown and buildup, catabolism, which means breakdown, catabolism means breakdown, and anabolism, which means buildup. Everybody's heard of anabolic steroids. Those are the steroids that athletes take to jack up muscle building. Anabolic steroids build things up. And you can have too much building up. It's a balance between catabolism and anabolism. You want probably more anabolism than catabolism, of course. You want to be in the black. By the way, catabolism and anabolism, or anabolism and catabolism together make up metabolism. So if you ever heard somebody talk about their metabolism, what they're talking about is the net of breakdown and build up. And you want your metabolism to be net building. That's how you're healthy. That's, that shows that you're healthy, net building. If you're net breakdown, you're aging and you're into degeneration. DHEA is an amazing anabolic, uh, anabolic hormone that you can get over the counter. Very, very important. Helps stimulate build up. The body's always breaking down and building up. What we call disease is the manifestation of breakdown that's exceeding a buildup. And this is a definition, in a way, of a wound that is slow to heal or, or that doesn't heal. A wound is a breakdown without building up, or at least the deficit in building up. And DHEA, dehydroepiandosterone, that's what it's technically called. We can just call it DHEA, is very, very safe in small amounts. Even in larger amounts, there isn't much toxicity, although if you do take too much DHEA, you may end up with breakouts. Sometimes women will get uh, hair on the face, uh, or sometimes if you take really a lot too much, you may end up losing some hair. Uh, or having some oily skin, but you got to take a lot, a lot, a lot. If you have a slow healing wound and you're older, if you want to take advantage of DHEA, if you're a diabetic, or even if you don't have a wound, you want to support your youth and vitality and blood sugar metabolism, you might want to consider a good daily dose of DHEA, anywhere from 1 to 5 to 10 milligrams a day. And then there's a specialty form of DHEA, which we'll tell you about tomorrow as we continue on the Bright Side, talking about anti-aging and wound healing. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright On the bright side, got a letter here from uh, Howard, who says he intend, uh, attended my presentation at Houston Tillotson University into July 25th, found it very informative, pleasure and privilege to meet me in person, blah, 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 shake hands, etc. He says, approximately one year ago, I was diagnosed with an eye condition called Guttata, Guttata. Ever since then, the optometrist has me on a non-prescription ophthalmic solution for the first three months. Uh, he conducted exams in the meantime, since first being diagnosed with Guttata, he took bilberry, uh, elderberry, bil, uh, elderberry uh, and bilberry extract, and now he's taking more bilberry and vitamin A and carrot powder and citrus flavonoids. This is an example of just throwing everything against the wall and see what sticks. Now, no offense to, to Howard, and I'm definitely going to be calling him, but guttata is a, is a condition where the body secretes collagen, excess collagen, in the eyes. 
in the cornea specifically. And this is what we were talking about before we went to break. It's not a good idea. It's just as bad for the body to produce too much stuff as it is to produce too little stuff. You could think of guttata in the eyes as excess collagen secretion in the eyes. It's basically a scar on the eye. And obviously, that's not a good condition in the eye, in the, in the cornea. So uh, using bilberry and vitamin A and carrot powder, you know, if I had to ask Howard, why is he doing that, I'm sure he would say, I don't know. I just thought that that's good for your eyes, and it probably is good for your eyes, but it has nothing to do with collagen secretion. Why, is, why are cells making too much collagen? Because they're inflamed. Why are cells inflamed? Because they're toxic, they're starved, and they're suffocated, period. You guys, four causes of all health issues. All disease is cell disease. All health crisis involves the cell. All health crisis dissolves, involves the cell. Why doesn't your doctor tell you that? Because doctors can't do anything at that level. The medical model is impotent, useless, and completely, completely, uh, its, its strategies are completely futile at the level of a cell. A cell will not take drugs voluntarily. A cell, you could poison a cell with drugs, and medical models got lots of ways of doing that. You can extract a group of cells by doing some kind of surgical procedure, and the medical model's great at that. But to help correct a cell that is sick or to heal a cell that is sick is not in the purview of medicine. It's not its job. It's not what it does. Now, I'm not going to tell you that, partially because they don't even think about it that way, but also because... They can't do anything. They want you to spend money with them. They're not going to tell you they can't help you at the level of a cell. So uh, corneal, uh, corneal guttata is the secretion of excess collagen following defective cells in the cornea. What makes the cell defective? The same thing that makes any cell defective. Starvation, suffocation, toxification, leading to inflammation, which is basically a, a beaver's dam, which, of course, causes more inf uh, starvation, suffocation, and toxification because toxins can't get, away from, can't get out of the beaver's dam. Food and nutrition and vitamins and the mighty 90 can't get in the beaver's dam, and oxygen can't get in the beaver's dam. So you got inflammation that's following starvation, suffocation, toxification, leading to more inflammation. That's it. That is it. So then the answer is, the question is, what do we do? How do you handle suffocation, starvation, toxification so you can uh, prevent inflammation? Well, starvation, mighty 90 essential nutrients. You also need to work on the digestive system because that, if you take just taking the mighty 90 nutrients but you're not absorbing, that doesn't do you any good. Of course, the liquid nutrients from longevity are a great way to bypass digestive problems. Howard should be using all of the liquid nutrients, especially the beyond tangy tangerine, probably the osteo effects as well. And then you've got the, the toxification element. Well, patching up the digestive tract and preventing th the entrance of toxins is always going to be important. Moving the lymphatic system, getting on the uh, rebound, or just moving your body around, exercising, deep breathing, and, uh, focusing on the exhalation part of deep breathing. That's another great strategy for detoxification. Making sure you have good bowel movements, of course, is important for detoxification. And then, of course, last but not least, oxygenation, making sure you're practicing your deep breathing techniques. So. Yes, Howard, Bilberry, vitamin A, carrot, carrot powder, they're all wonderful, but they're not going to help you with your guttata. Your guttata is caused by cells that are sick, eye cells, corneal cells that are sick. Why are the cells sick? Because they're starved, they're suffocated, and they are toxic. How do you prevent that or how do you reverse that? By putting the Mighty 90 nutrients in, by patching up the digestive tract and making sure you're absorbing, um, by making sure you're staying away from problem foods, foods that mess up the digestive tract, using probiotics and digestive enzymes and glutamine and the Z radical and uh, apple cider vinegar after meals and other things that help support digestive health. Of course, probiotics are the most important uh, of all the digestive health supplements. And then practicing deep breathing techniques, making sure you're oxygenating correctly and blowing off carbon dioxide. If you have problems with constipation, a secondary to problem foods, once you eliminate the problem foods, they'll, your constipation issues, will, uh, constipation issues will improve. But if you want to make sure you're having regular bowel movements, using fiber as a supplement can help. Grind your own flaxseed fiber. I grind about two or three tablespoons of flaxseed fiber in a coffee grinder every morning, and I put it in my smoothie. And you can do the same thing. Real easy to do. Use the golden flax seeds. Organic is always best. Golden flax seeds tend to have more nutritional value than brown flax seeds. You can use other seeds as well. You can use pumpkin seeds or you can use nuts. You can use almonds, pistachios. They're all great sources of fiber. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our call -in number. Let's go to Brian in New Hampshire. Welcome to the Bright Side. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Ben. I just um, I, I wanted to go, go into... Uh, 
Oh, oh, something that dramatic that just kind of happened to me, and I oh, and I'm taking the beyond tangy. Tangerine, but here's what happened. I just got back from the dentist's office, and I, I went in uh, saying I didn't want an x-ray. Well, they said that they saw a cavity, and I, I said, all right, a cavity. They said they needed to do an x-ray. Well, 30 x-rays later. Um, 30 x-rays? 30 <laughs> x-rays. And they told and you, I, it was, I, did they tell you it was just like going through a revolving door, that the same amount as you get when you go through the supermarket checkout line? Did they tell you that one? They use the analogy, it's the yeah. same amount of sun you get when you're on the beach. Yeah, they, and, like, they like those analogies, right? Okay. And I, the irony is, they checked my lymph nodes directly afterwards, and I said, well, that's kind of funny, because you oh, would really? be giving me, <laughs> and, and, and I was, but, but um, what, what actually happened, though, is I, I called you before, because I, I'm kind of young, but my hairline's beginning to recede, okay. and this kind of concerns me, because this is a very, very traumatic thing. My cortisol levels are raised. I'm very nauseous. I'm just, I'm just kind of recovering. Right now, I'm taking just at the moment just to be able to talk to you on the phone. Are you saying after what the x-rays? Hang on, Brian. Yeah. After the x-rays, this all started happening? Uh, it, it would happen during, and it's, the effects are continuing. So the okay. first thing I did was I just took Beyond Canyon Tangerine, and even, and even then I can't – it's very difficult to keep down. Okay. Well, we got to get you building again. First of all, uh, you might want to start exploring some detox, uh, some, some nutritional detox strategies. Selenium can help uh, protect against some, uh, per, and by the way, this is true for anybody worried about Fukushima or any kind of radiation issues. Selenium is probably the most, or at least one of the most important radioactive protective uh, nutrients you could take. Zinc is also important in the mineral world. Same with magnesium, but selenium is probably number one. I'd be using 200 to 400 micrograms of, uh, of the ultimate selenium if you're not already. Uh, and then 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Vitamin E works in tandem with vitamin with uh, zinc and with selenium. Uh, 50 millig uh, sorry, 400 international units of vitamin E a day. Those kind, those three make up a triad. And actually, alpha lipoic acid. You could throw that one in there. Uh, they all work together. 400 or 500 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid. And I probably use a little N-acetylcysteine too. Maybe 500 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine. There's also some some food-like substances, including mushrooms. Uh, hang tight, Brian. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 855-660-4261 is our number, and we do have a line open for you. We'll be back right after this with more good health information. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. If you're interested in joining The Bright Side Ben team, love to have you on my team. At, uh, love to have you on my team, and you can call the phone team to find out more about it. 866-735-2470 is their number, or you can head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link. We also have a shopping cart up with all the longevity products, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Jordan Rubin Beyond Organic products. I'm anxiously awaiting my new shipment of artisan cheddar cheese. I've been uh, using supermarket cheese for the last week, and it is not the same, let me tell you. Once you try this cheese, you're not going to want to use the, uh, the the plain old. I've been getting my cheese at a health food store. It's still it's still uh, nowhere near as tasty as the probiotic enriched artisan cheese from the Beyond Organic Company. You can find out all about that at brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, uh, Brian in New Hampshire. I'm going to go a little fast here, okay, because I want to get to sure. some calls. Uh, and and your, in, your instinct and your intuition about the x-rays is absolutely correct. Uh, and by the way, CAT scans are especially uh, notoriously awful uh, uh, for uh, uh, for giving you radiation. Uh, there's new, a lot of epidemiologists, doctors who study how disease forms uh, believe that CAT scans can uh, be related to cancer. There's 70 million CAT scans performed every year. Uh, it's a big problem. X-rays are problems uh, as well. And there's lots of things you could do to protect your DNA from X-rays and DNA from X-ray damage. Uh, before we went to break, I was telling you mushrooms and mushroom extracts, including something called beta glucan, which is in mushrooms, can be protective. I've been using beta glucan in my skincare formulations for a long time. 
Um, I'm actually, I have a blog post coming up hopefully this week or, or maybe next on mushrooms and beta-glucan. But as it turns out, you can eat mushrooms or you can use beta-glucan or mushroom extracts to protect yourself from x-rays. Said before, uh, we went to commercial NAC works, selenium, vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid. Uh, zinc is also very important. Uh, all your trace minerals are going to be important as well. Green tea is an interesting way to protect yourself from x-rays. Sipping on green tea is just a good thing to do anyway. You can spritz green tea right on your skin when you're out in the sun, and it can help protect you from sun damage. And certainly sipping on green tea can be a great anti-sun, anti-solar radiation, anti-x-ray protective mechanism. And, and when you're making your green tea to protect yourself from the sun, throw a little lemon peel or orange peel in there. And the lemon peel and the orange peel will uh, contribute antioxidants to the green tea that will also have some anti-x-ray, anti-sun uh, or sun protection benefits. Lots of things you could do. Sulfur, of course, is also important. Oh, yeah, vitamin C, super important. We tend, I forget sometimes to mention vitamin C because it's so common, but uh, vitamin C is one of the most important anti-x-ray, anti-radiation, solar protected nutrients you could take. So, so many different things you could do, of course. Uh, keeping your uh, digestive system operating pristinely is also important and doing all the major be uh, basic health strategies, digestive strategies, deep breathing, and keeping your blood sugar stable is also very important. And as far as your hair goes, think zinc. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day, as long as you don't have any other health issues, because uh, a lot of times when you have um, male pattern baldness at an early age, there's other stuff going on, especially autoimmune issues. So you want to make sure that you're healthy on all levels. But as far as nutritional supplements go, zinc, it can be very helpful. I'm sorry, 50 milligrams of zinc can be helpful. And then also silica, liquid silica gel is also important. You'll get silica in vegetables, and you'll also get some silica in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but you can get some extra silica, liquid silica gel. You have to buy that on the internet, maybe a tablespoonful or two tablespoonfuls of liquid silica gel. Hope that helps you, Brian. Can Thanks I, so much. Can I follow up one, one more thing? Yes, sir. I, I just, the vitamin C was the first thing that I've taken, and I was wondering to ask, uh, just in the amount of taking vitamin C, if that prevents me from absorbing any, any other minerals. Because no, just, not really. It'll increase the absorption of some, but that's not, that's more for Super duper advanced uh, nutrition pe folks who want some super duper advanced nutritional ideas, but for most po folks, that's not going to make a difference. But you will get a little bit extra absorption of some minerals if you take your iron, for example, with vitamin C. Okay, man. Thanks for your call, Brian. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. And you can always call back, of course, or send me an email, Ben at KSCO.com, if you have other questions. Okay, uh, Carol, you've been holding on forever. Appreciate your call, Carol, Carol in Calgary. What's up? Oh, hi. Good morning to you. Hey. Um, I have uh, a friend who has very bad psoriasis all over her arms. Okay. And, food, food, um, food, food. Psoriasis is a completely 100% non-reversible condition without drugs, and it doesn't take very long to reverse. Think food, think fats. That's how you deal with psoriasis. Think foods, think fats. Foods, that means problem foods and foods that you're not digesting well. You also, of course, whenever we say problem foods, you want to support the digestive system. Probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, are a must-have for anybody with eczema or psoriasis. Biolumin Nightly Essence, 3 in the morning, 3 at night. Use apple cider vinegar after all meals. Get on the ultimate enzymes. It wouldn't hurt to use the Z-Radical, two capsules in the morning, two capsules at night. And, of course, focusing on problem foods and eliminating those. As far as fats go, well, you got to work on fat absorption, lecithin, the ultimate enzymes, bile salts, choline, taurine. These are all ways that you can amp up. Uh, fat digestion, hopefully her gallbladder is working correctly. Uh, grinding up or chopping up fatty foods can help. And then uh, mixing fatty foods with uh, a little, or making sure you're taking your fatty foods with your bile and your lecithin and your ultimate enzymes. Uh, then also the essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFA is very important for psoriasis patients. I'd be using three capsules three times a day. Omega-3s are especially important. Even just fish oil can help with psoriasis, or help psoriasis patients, krill oil or fish oil. Uh, the ultimate EFAs will get you some fish oil, of course. Vitamin E works hand in hand with your ultimate EFAs. Anybody taking essential fatty acids, take vitamin E with it. Vitamin E will protect the EFAs, and it also has wonderful skin benefits for psoriasis patients. Vitamin D, another important fatty vitamin that's got anti-psoriasis benefits. There's a prescription drug called Dovonex, which is nothing more than vitamin E, or I'm sorry, vitamin D. But you don't need a prescription drug to get your vitamin D. You can go out in the sun and get your vitamin D, which is the best kind of vitamin D anyway. And vitamin D works in tandem with vitamin A. So making sure you're getting your vitamin D from the sun or also from fish oil, and then taking 20,000 international units of vitamin A can help 
also. If you want a topical way of dealing with uh, psoriasis, although it's not going to be as effective, you can use topical vitamin A. Uh, retinoic acid is a prescription form. There's synthetic versions, but I like the retinoic acid form. You can also find over-the-counter retinol, and that can work too. And uh, you might also want to try some selenium, which has some nice uh, skin health benefits, 200 to 400 micrograms of the ultimate selenium from Longevity. You can find all these Longevity products at uh, brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Last but not least, get on the Healthy Star Pack, which includes the BTT, the essential fatty acids, the osteo, the, uh, osteo effects, and, that, of course, that's all your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Foods, fats, and the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. And when I say foods, I also mean correcting digestive health issues. Does that help, Carol? Thank you. God bless. Have a beautiful day in Calgary, Canada. All right, Cindy, what's going Hi. on? How you doing? Um, better. Um, Good. Last night was very interesting what you talked about. Yes. On the call? Yeah, on the call, yeah. Did it help? Very helpful. Yeah, it helped you. Good deal. What did you What yeah. did you find helpful? Okay. Like, um, what did you find I helpful? Helpful because um, I have suffered from anxiety and depression and bipolar. Okay. Okay. And all you right. did a lot of explaining about all that and, and things I needed to do that I'm doing and things that I didn't have in my food and digestive problems that I still trying to correct. <laughs> all right. Well, we got about sixty seconds okay. or less here, Cindy. So. All right. So um, I have a question about scars. You've been talking okay. about those. Yes. Um, my scars, and unfortunately I have many of them, okay. are slightly widening and slightly lengthening. Okay, not there good. Anything? No, I know it's not good, but I don't know what to do. Oh uh, Well, you, first of all, you should get, get on that archives and start listening to everything we've been talking about. Are they surgical scars, by the way? Where, where They're all scar? surgical scars. Okay, all and surgical are they scars. recently surgical? Did you have recent um, surgeries? Um, the most recent surgery I had was in um, 2010. Okay, once a scar is there, it's there. You're not getting rid of it. So the trick to scarring is to prevent them, not to, the only way to remove them is through cutting them out through surgical procedures. A scar to your body is a good thing. To you and to me, it's not a good thing. To us, it's not a good thing. But to a, the body, it's the way the body is protecting itself. The body feels like it has an area that's, that's vulnerable and fragile, so it sends extra collagen and extra fibers to that area, and we call that a scar. Now, if you want to protect that from happen, you want to prevent that from happening, you got to tell the body while the wound is healing, hey, everything's good. We're all, we don't have any problems here. We've got lots of nutrition available, no toxins, no, no sickness going on. And, of course, how do you do that? By, number one, making sure you're using your Mighty 90 essential nutrients, especially the nutrients that help with the building of tissue, vitamin C, protein, amino acids like arginine and taurine, essential fats, which we haven't talked about yet, but we will be talking about magnesium, calcium, and, and zinc are also very important. Telling the body that all is well. If you have any inflammatory conditions, and I know from talking to you, Cindy, that you've got s some other stuff going on, that's going to make it much more difficult to heal from the wound correctly. If you do have a wound that you want to put nutrients on topically to prevent scarring, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, not just for Cindy, but anybody out there. Send me an email, ben at ksco.com, and I'll send you out a free sample of my Omega-6 Wound Healing Cream. Thanks so much for listening, folks. Thank you, Cindy, for your call as well. Hope we helped you out. If we left you on hold, I apologize. Call back tomorrow, and we'll get you first up. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about wound healing. We'll tell you about a very special kind of DHEA that can help you bypass some of the toxicity or side effects, I should say, associated with ordinary DHEA as we continue talking about wound healing on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, folks. Have an awesome, wonderful, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.